वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ए ब्राइनरी ऑफ सेवेल हेलो व्यूअर्स गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व सेवेंथ असाइनमेंट ऑफ एडवांस एंड कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई थैंक ईच एंड एवरीवन दोस वो आर वाचिंग दिस असाइनमेंट प्लीज पोस्ट योर कमेंट लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब सो कमिंग टू फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन identify the correct statement he has given addition of lye ash and slag decreases chloride permeability so there are two admixtures mineral admixtures the first one is lye ash and slag by adding these two whether chloride permeability increases or decreases so this is the question that he has given coming to the solution so with respect to durability chloride attack is most concern when cement is replaced by mineral admixtures like flyers and slag permeability is reduced when compared to ordinary portland cement okay as we are replacing the cement with mineral admixtures like flyers or slag these two can reduce permeability clear so option a for question number 1 coming to question number 2 he has given the statements regarding rice husk okay so the first statement is rice husk ash is obtained by control calcination so during calcination the temperature and time of the burning controlled okay so by this controlled calcination rice husk ash can be obtained okay so the option a is correct now coming to option b field burned rice husk is weakened Kujulona. So, burning rice husk at high temperature the particles are recrystallize and silica gets transformed into crystalline components and is the crystalline components that is obtained from silica is used as fuel and the obtained rice husk ash is weak in pujalona okay so this statement is also correct and now coming to third statement high amount of reactive silica are present in rice husk ash obviously this is also correct statement so that is the more amount of silica come from soil generally that is for agro products agricultural products so in that the percentage of silica is more than 90% so by this reason all the three statements are correct so the option d for question number 2 coming to question number 3 with regard to a ternary system of limestone calcined clay and metacaolin identify the correct statement so basically what is a ternary system ternary system means 
it is component of three components one is cement plus limestone and mineral advections So generally ternary system means it is cement, limestone and mineral admixtures. These mineral admixtures are secondary cementaceous material like fly ash and metacaolin and silica fume. Clear? So by this three generally are come under mineral admixtures. So now first thing is in ternary system, there is less conversion of ettringite to monosulfate as compared to plain Portland cement. Obviously, the conversion of ettringite to monosulfate is reduced in ternary system compared to ordinary Portland cement because cement is replaced with mineral admixtures. When cement is replaced with mineral admixtures, this conversion of ettringite to monosulfate can be reduced. So the option A is correct. Now coming to second statement, limestone in the ternary system can act as a nucleation site. Obviously this is also correct because of limestone increased amount. of calcium leads to nucleation of CSH on small particles. So all the small particles can lead to nucleation of sites. So this is also correct. And now coming to third statement, there is a lower CH in the ternary system due to pozzolonic reaction with metacoyalin. Obviously because of pozzolonic action with metacoyalin. So lower the CH value. Clear? So this is also correct. So all the three statements are correct and option will be last option for question number 3. As per Indian standards, the permissible amount of limestone that can be added in the ordinary Portland cement. So, as per Indian standards, up to 5% limestone can be added in ordinary Portland cement. Coming to European standards. So, European standards. 6 to 20 percent of limestone can be added in ordinary Portland cement. This process can make the liberation of carbon dioxide limited or reduced. Okay, by mixing of limestone by up to 20 percent in the ordinary Portland cement. So the amount of liberation in the carbon dioxide can be reduced greatly. Okay, so option A for question number four. Coming to question number 5, during manufacturing of sugarcane bases as, so sugarcane bases as a mineral admixture in the concrete, the temperature is strictly maintained in the range of 500 to 800 degrees centigrade. So, generally because of recrystallization of silica may occur at higher temperature. Because of recrystallization of silica at higher temperature. It is required to maintain more temperature around 500 to 800 degrees centigrade in the manufacturing of sugarcane bases ash that can be used as a mineral admixture in the concrete okay so option c for question number 5 coming to question number 6 which of the following minerals can be activated during alkaline solution so you can see coming to question number 6 to produce geopolymer concrete
to produce geopolymer concrete we need to add the minerals are aluminosilicate minerals and calcined clay and the next is ground granulated blast furnace slag and next is fly ash fly ash is the first one and calcined clay is second one so both a and b are the correct answer for question number 6 coming to question number 7 in geopolymer concrete the hardening occurs due to formation of okay you can see in geopolymer concrete the hardening occurs so generally because along with minerals there are rich alumina and silica so these alumina and silica will be added by adding alkaline activator solution like potassium hydroxide sodium hydroxide or potassium thiosulfate sodium thiosulfate so or we can add these two so alkali activators or we can add these two alkali activator now the process of activation of the process of activation of Mineral admixtions using alkaline solution under go polycyalate network. Okay, so and this will undergo polycyalate network. So Option C for question number 7. Coming to question number 8. Identify the correct statement. So, geopolymer concrete has good fire resistance. Geopolymer concrete has high chloride and acid resistance. Geopolymer concrete has high early strength. So, first of all, we need to study what are all the properties of geopolymer concrete. So, over the normal reinforced concrete. So, properties of geopolymer concrete. So, the first one is excellent in early development of strength. So, Geopolymer concrete is very excellent that is it will perform very well in the development of geopolymer early development of strength next statement is it will produce good durability good durability performance and more acid resistance and especially chloride resistance okay and now it will also produce it will also have good fire resistance okay so these are all the properties of geopolymer concrete so it will produce high early strength so statement 3 is correct it will have high chloride and acid resistance correct and has high good fire resistance it is also correct option d for question number 8 coming to question number 9 the fratini test is used for assessing so very important most important test so it is used for checking pugilonic activity there are some list of tests that can be used for pugilonic activity test so pugilonic activity test or so the first one is 
स्ट्रेंथ एक्टिविटी टेस्ट एंड सेकेंड वन इज इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी टेस्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी टेस्ट एंड थर्ड वन इज प्रटीनी टेस्ट फोर्थ वन इज लाइव रिएक्टिविटी टेस्ट एंड लाइव सैचुरेशन टेस्ट ओके सो ऑल दीज टेस्ट आर यूजफुल टू कैलकुलेट पुजलोरिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ एनी पुजलोरिक मेटीरियल क्लियर सो ऑप्शन बी फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन कमिंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द असाइनमेंट द इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी मैथड वॉज यूज टू कंपेर दुजलोनिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ टू डिफरेंट पुजलोनर्स ए एंड बी ऑब्वियसली इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी मेथड इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ वी हैव स्टडीड इलेक्ट्रिकल कंडक्टिविटी मेथड इज यूजफुल फॉर पुजलोनिक एक्टिविटी ऑफ टू पुजलोनर्स हियर ही हैज गिवन देर आर टू पुजलोनर्स ए एंड बी he has given the pujalona a showed higher rate of change of conductivity as compared to b the given data is pujalona a showed a higher rate of change in conductivity to pujalona b okay so now which of the following statements are correct so statement a is a has higher pujalonic activity compared to b a has higher b has higher uh, pujalonic activity compared to a and both a and b have same similar pujalonic activity electrical conductivity cannot be used for assessing pujalonic activity so in the electrical conductivity test if electrical conductivity change is more then it will indicate the direct relationship with pujalonic activity of that particular material so in the given statement he has given pujalona a has showed the more change in the electrical conductivity compared to b so when pujalona a is showing more change in electrical conductivity pujalona a itself has more pujalonic activity that is a has higher pujalonic activity compared to b okay so the answer a will be the answer for question number 10 and especially i want to thank each and every one those who are watching advanced concrete technology hello viewers thank you very much please share subscribe to all your friends those who are enrolling for nptel examinations and you can find the link of all the assignments in the description below thank you very much